Hi class, welcome to week two of your nutrition course. I'm going to highlight you to what we're doing this week and one of your first bigger assignments. And so first of all, let's go into week two and you will find here that this week we're really studying science and understanding the scientific method. It's important that we get a foundation in learning how to read research and nutrition and how to evaluate claims made because most of what we hear online or in the media or Facebook Facebook or whatnot is really undocumented, unscientific people's opinion. And so we need to step away from that so we can develop the mindset that we need to critically evaluate this information. So you have quite a few videos here. Um, I want to show you something particularly about this one. Uh, when you look at these videos, you see quite a few of these TED Talks, and they're called TED Eds. If you play it from here, it just plays the video. But if you also want, if you click on here and you go to discuss, or excuse me, think deeper, it actually gives you a small little quiz. And you are welcome to do that. This is just a way to help you study for material and study for your class. And so all the TED Eds that are like that have a little quiz associated with them. They're not for points and they're not required, just something for you to try. Um, and then here are some additional videos I have for you. Note, you'll see another TED Ed here. We have a narrated PowerPoint, and I do almost no narrated PowerPoints really, but this particular one um, on the research method, I want you to take a look at. In addition, you have your reading for this week, which is Keep Well Informed. And so this is a PDF actually out of a different textbook. It's not the most amazing PDF copy I've ever made in my life. I actually had to rip it out of the textbook, but it is good enough to be able to read it. And so this really supports the videos um, that you're watching this week. In addition, you'll have your team introductions. I'll be posting these teams most likely Tuesday or Wednesday uh, once we get all the ad drops taken care of and here you'll be able to introduce yourself to the team that you'll be working with this semester. The other thing I want to bring your attention to is again your first assignment and it's not located inside the weekly folder because it's actually not due till the 4th of February and so when an assignment is going to lap over a couple of weeks I won't put it inside the folder because sometimes that can make it confusing when you go to submit your assignment how to do that. First thing I want to point out to you is this is the submission portal and so you'll see when I scroll over the icon here that allows me to submit the assignment right here. You are submitting two things with this assignment. You're submitting the Word document I've provided and you're also submitting your nutrition reports and just so you know that you can attach multiple attachments here. Alright, so let's go back to that assignment and talk a little bit about it. So the very first thing is you'll see right here you have something called Nutrition Calc Plus. This is the calorie counting site or nutrition evaluation site that comes with Connect. You can access it either through this button right here or through your uh, assignments if you just go to your home page. So what we're going to do is I'll log in here. Now what you may be prompted to do at this point is to log in. So you do have a login. This is your email and your password that you created when you first set up your Connect account. And so you need to do that. And at this point you can sign in. Okay, and here we come to the front page, and you'll notice that this actually matches your assignment. And so you are going to follow these steps. You're going to set up a profile. You're going to record your intake for three days. I'm about to talk about this. All of your exercise that you complete within those three days. And here you're going to find the reports that I'm asking for in the assignment. If you need help or get confused, you'll notice right here there's some tutorials for you to take that might be of assistance to you. So let's go back to the actual assignment. Here what you're going to be doing is you're going to record what you eat for th three days. And what is important about this is that you make an accurate recording of what you eat. What I would highly recommend is eat like you normally eat after you create your serving size of whatever you plan to eat. Go ahead and at that point measure it. For example, if every morning you have a bowl of cereal, your measurement isn't the bowl that you're eating. The measurement is the serving size on the side of the box. And so go ahead and pour your bowl of cereal and then get out a measuring cup and see how much cereal you poured out. 
This way you can actually truly evaluate what you're eating and how much you're eating and where those calories are coming from. As you're completing the assignment, again, this is all going to be done in the NutriCalc Plus. You're going to, when you're done recording all your food, you're going to ask yourself these questions. These need to be answered in complete sentences um, and demonstrate thought and effort. The next part of the assignment you're going to do is when you print your reports, the report you're going to be printing is all daily reports, you are going to evaluate what you ate against current recommendations. And so you're going to see where you were successful and where you fell short. I definitely want you to pay a little bit more attention to this. Do you eat appropriate amounts from each category? Because, for example, you may tell me you really excel in carbohydrates because you ate 65% of your diet in carbohydrates. It's the current recommendations are 45 to 65%. But that all came from pasta. Well, then we wouldn't say you excelled there because you didn't eat any fruits or vegetables. And so we want to make sure that in that regard, we really evaluate that question well. And then here you're going to be asked to reflect on this process. And so this assignment is also really important because it sets the foundation for all the work we're going to do in the class. Uh, you have two major projects in this class worth approximately 30% of your grade. One of them is the diet debate research paper and the other one is your diet analysis project which is your signature assignment for this course. This assignment at the very beginning of the semester begins to tell you the story of who you are along with what you eat. And that becomes really important for when you're going to build what your diet analysis project will be. And so I would encourage you to really take the time with this summit and be as truthful as possible so you can get an accurate assessment of where you are. And when it comes to time to apply dietary changes and recommendations, you really have a foundation of where you would like to start. Okay, well, that is what we have for this week. Please let me know if you have any questions and have a wonderful week.